guys it is friday i hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start thanks so much for stopping in today guys and welcome to another edition of fashion over 40. you guys really seem to enjoy the last fashion over 40. thanks so much guys for all of the positive feedback thank you so much i really enjoyed making that particular video so let's kind of keep this little series going okay all right so I don't have to tell you guys that we are approaching quickly the dog days of summer, meaning things are going to get even hotter. And if you are like me, what you like to do in the summertime is shed your longer pants for shorts, okay? Not saying that I wanna wear short shorts, but just shorts in general. So I wanted to share with you guys here today one of the exercises that has really helped me to get my legs and my buns ready for those shorts. You guys know that before we can don those shorts as women over 40, we have three things that we have to contend with, okay? Maybe even more, but the three that I wanna focus on today, varicose veins, stretch marks and cellulite 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 <laughs> however you want to say it it's a problem all right so if you are like me you want to wear those shorts but you don't want to go out and put the short shorts on and have your leg not not short shorts you don't want to put the shorts on and have your legs look unflattering all right so if you're like me the exercise that you want to do ladies is an oldie but Goody. And I am finding myself using that term here a lot, lady, but Kathy Friedrich's basic step and body fusion is the workout that you guys have to check out. This one, like I said, is a workout that I have been doing forever. It is a step workout. Now, this is not your grandmother's step workout. If you guys are even a little bit into physical fitness and you've uh, frequented um, some of the exercise videos here on YouTube as well as Instagram, then you guys will know that there has been a just huge resurgence in step aerobics, okay? They are so funky and so urban. The workouts really make you want to get into the gym. All right, well, I'm here to tell you that you do not have to go and join a gym. You don't have to pay some trainer to uh, get their choreography for a step workout. Pick up Kathy Friedrichs. It's not even just start, not even exclusively Kathy Friedrichs. You can go to Amazon, guys, and order any step workout and um, get your buns and legs in shape and ready for those shorts this summer. But really quickly, I wanted to share with you here a little tidbit of the workout that I do at least three times a week. And, it, uh, and again, it has really helped my legs and my buns quickly guys before we get started with the workout I want to let you know that if you're going to do the Kathy Friedrichs workout you can choose the option of how high you want your risers on your step today I am going to do it with no risers for the purpose of this video and you'll also need some light weights for this particular video as well <music>
okay? Again, I have been doing step aerobics for so, so many years. I find myself, you know, pulling it out, dusting it off, and I'll go hard at it for months, and then I'll switch and start doing something else, but I am really loving it, and just trust me, it is that workout that you want to do if you're trying to get your legs your thighs, your butt in shape for summer. All right, so what do you do in the meantime? Because I'm here to tell you it's not going to happen overnight. You're going to have to put the work in to get your results. But so, you know, we're already here in the middle of summer. What do you do in the interim while you are trying to get those legs and thighs and butt in shape? You have the legs, they are on the way, but they're not here, that not there yet. What do you do? All right, kimonos. Kimonos, guys, are the perfect disguise for those little imperfections on our legs, especially in the back, okay? Especially in the back and maybe even a little bit on the sides of our legs. Kimonos are great for disguising those little imperfections that we do not want to share with the rest of the world. So I have several of them, all right, several kimonos. I love this one right here. I picked this up a couple of years ago. I believe it was um, in Florida. I picked this one up and for me, it serves as both a kimono. I love it because I can also, um, have it double as a bikini cover up or in my case it's going to be a swimsuit cover up we will be uh wearing a swimsuit on our upcoming uh beach vacation that we are getting ready for this is the swimsuit right here okay i love this swimsuit i actually purchased this from nordstrom i love that it gives you the illusion of a bikini as you can see here you have the you know top portion that looks like a little bit of a bikini top and then here in the middle it's it's almost like it's detached but then connected with a little bit of lace and then you have this piece down here at the bottom all right i hope you guys can see that it's a really pretty suit very well made and it has like a very low back just a really really pretty swimsuit so i will be wearing that this swimsuit with my kimono and i have these little shorts right here now while i love these shorts they are also an oldie but goodie i'm sure there are so many of you out there who purchased these particular shorts here from target a few seasons ago all right while i do love them they are i don't know they're a little bit short for me to wear out without some coverage okay for that back area so i will be you know when we go away wearing those shorts these shorts here on the beach i'll wear these on the beach with my swimsuit i love the little play on fabrics here they are very similar in, in fabric and i love this little black and white detail here on the string of the shorts and then coupled with the kimono it's just going to be really great but again the kimono is going to help disguise any areas on my legs that I didn't, you know, necessarily want to kind of share with the rest of the world right now. However, I will say thanks to my step workout, I think I'm just about there. So by the time we get um, on our vacation, I think I should be ready. But on those times, you know, on those instances when I feel that I'm not kimonos, once again are my just really favorite go-to okay all right so that is kimono number one all right so that one this one right here is more of a laid back i want to say just you know really pretty beachy type kimono just really cute um this one right here you can i think dress it up a little bit more i love this one i love this really pretty orange color i love all the really pretty uh flowers in this one just a really uh, pretty kimono i've had this one for such a long time i can't really recall where i purchased this one at but trust me guys you can purchase these kimonos anywhere so my thoughts for that particular kimono is a pair of denim cutoffs again this is going to be a beach vacation and so i think cutoffs would be just really apropos for you know strolling along the beach these are a pair that i've had forever these are actually from old navy not sure if you guys can see that there but i've had them forever again they are 
a little bit shorter i think for everyday wear but for the beach these are perfect and then when i pair them with my kimono no worries at all all right all right guys and so those are the shorts those were the kimonos and because this is fashion over 40 we don't want to stop there we want to elevate the look of our look even more okay so what i plan to do is style both the shorts and the kimonos with my favorite accessory can you guys guess were you guessing fedora i love 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 a good fedora and i think pairing either one of those looks with a fedora would be great here i have a straw one i have one here with more of a linen fabric um this one right here i just adore who's this one by this is panama jack you guys see that just a gorgeous gorgeous hat uh let me sit those there i have a couple here from target this one right here how chic is this how chic is this one right here just to stroll along the beach this one was $14.99 so i have it there in the black and then i also have the same hat here in a pretty straw material just really really pretty again because this is fashion over 40 i think we owe it to ourselves to make sure we elevate the style just a little bit more what would a beach vacation be what would the summer be without your shorts your hat your kimono and a pair of really really good sunglasses so the sunglasses i plan to take with me and really help to elevate the look of my little shorts this summer are my chanel's i love love these these are just a really fun really effortless pair of sunglasses love these okay and another pair that really helps to elevate the look of my shorts for the beach will be this pair this is also a pair of chanel's okay these i think are a little bit more serious but still fun at the same time well that is it guys i hope that you have enjoyed this edition of fashion over 40 how to look great in shorts all right i hope that you have found these tips to be helpful one tip that i neglected to mention was making sure that we get the right cut of shorts for our body type because no matter how great our legs look no matter how great our butt looks it's not really going to be um, we're not going to get the most flattering look if we have the wrong cut of shorts okay so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video what should we talk about next all right leave your comments below thanks again for stopping in guys and i will see you all in the next video